You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. United States President Joe Biden has arrived on Thursday night, the 24th of March, at the European Council in Brussels to attend a summit of the EU leaders that will have the war in Ukraine as the center point. Biden has said upon arrival that Russian President Vladimir Putin is trying to break up NATO, adding that he calls for unity among the major democracies of the world. And the very thing that Putin has tried to do from the beginning, and I've been saying this since my days as Vice President of the United States, is to break up NATO. Break up NATO. He'd rather face 30 independent countries than 30 united countries with the United States of America. Not a joke. I'm being deadly earnest. And so from the very beginning, my objective, and I had a great partner in this, was to see to it that we built total, complete unity among the major democracies of the world. I'm not joking about that. European Union leaders are set to agree at a two-day summit, which has started on Thursday, to jointly buy gas as they seek to cut reliance on Russian fuels, with some saying they would not comply with Moscow's demand to buy oil and gas using rubles. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia, Europe's top gas supplier, has pushed already high energy prices to records and has prompted the European Union to pledge the slashed reliance on Russian fossil fuels by hiking imports from other countries and quickly expanding renewable energy. Moscow on Wednesday, March 23, has said unfriendly countries, including European Union member states, must start paying in rubles for Russian oil and gas, a demand some European Union leaders have said was at odds with supply contracts. Asked whether China will be discussed at the summit, Biden has answered, we hope we're going to get a chance to discuss China.